This is Slipknot. Basically, Slipknot formed in 1995. Myself and the bass player, Paul, we put it together with the theory that uh, we were going to play the music that we finally wanted to hear, and we weren't going to play for anything or anyone else. And, uh, you know, we formed in Des Moines, Iowa, and everybody in the band was in a different band, and we all opened up for each other, played with each other on these Sunday all-ages shows. And I think everybody that is in the band today was the chief in their band prior to Slipknot. So, you know, we all gathered together and talked on a social level. And, you know, when each chief got sick and tired of playing the game and decided to make the, the great art, um, that's when we formed together under Slipknot. And that's why we're here today. It's a whole different reality, man, when you put these masks on. Because when you're doing music that's abusive, and you're really putting so much into this music, you know, of yourself, it's it's very important to know what that person is inside of you. You know what I'm saying? And who that person is and what he looks like. And that's basically what these masks are to us, man. That's this is the face of the voice or the noise that is coming out of us, inside of us, to make this music. And why not, you know, take it a step further and become more of that music by putting that face on, bringing that face out of you and putting it onto your own face. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it takes months for that song to bloom. You know, all the ideas are out in the open all the time, and, and they're around us everywhere. But um, until everybody has really given everything of themselves into it, it doesn't become a Slipknot song. So, yeah, we, we all have to uh, contribute, or it, it doesn't work. I might do water. All we are doing is screaming about the things that we've had to deal with. And I think that's why we, we're as popular as we are, is because kids can relate to that. The majority of kids out there right now live in a place that is completely decimated as far as social places go, as far as uh, public places go. There's nothing to do, and there's nowhere to do it, but there's all these people to do it with. You know what I'm saying? And in towns like that, you have to stand up and do it yourself. And that is exactly what we did. We were so tired of waiting for bands to do it and waiting for a band to step up and do it that we were like, you know what? We got to do this for ourselves because nobody else is going to do it for us. So I don't think a band like this could have come from a place where they just leave the toys laying on the ground. I think it could have come from a place uh, with a lot more imagination than that. And we came from Des Moines, Iowa, and that's who we are. Yo, what's up? This is number eight. This is the clown, number six. We are Slipknot. We're in Toronto right now playing a show, throwing down, kicking ass, tearing all the fucking shit up. Hope you're having a good fucking time. You're watching Two Rock. And right now, we're going to play a video for you by a band called Kitty. This is called Brackish. Shut up. Hey, this is Slipknot. We're back. You're watching Two Rock. Right now, we're going to do a video for you that was recorded live at an outdoor festival in our hometown, Des Moines, Iowa. Suffer because you've never fucking been there. But I hope you enjoy it. This one's called Wait and Bleed. What's up, everybody? You're back on Two Rock. This is the clown. That's Corey. You know who he is. You know what he does. You know what he's here for. Uh, we're going to play a couple request videos. Uh, it's kind of hard for us to, to, you know, only pick two videos because there's so many bands that we're friends with and so many uh, bands that 
I guess may not have videos or so many bands that we can't pick. So it's kind of hard to do it. And we hate doing it. So I should just say fuck off and not do it. Fuck off. But uh, I guess uh, one of the most influential bands of my life and one of the bands I love a lot, I guess. And the uh, reason why I love them is because uh, it seems that they were in the center of true art to me. You know, they branched out in different mediums, you know, took it to a next level. And uh, this band, Jane's Addiction, you probably heard of them. And this song is called uh, Mountain Song. It's probably one of my favorite songs they ever did. And the video is great. There's a lot of emotion. So that's my fucking pick. Pick I'm taking is uh, runs a little deeper. Uh, one of my favorite bands in the world still is. Uh, it's a video called Roots by Sepultura. And um, Kind of a cool sideline about this is uh, our good friend Thomas Mignoni directed this video, who also directed our videos, uh, Spit It Out and Wait and Bleed. So um, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of a weird tie-in. And uh, it's kind of a statement saying Slipknot is about family. The sicker the family, the better. If you don't fucking like it, stay the fuck out of the family. So here's Sepultura with Roots. What's up? This is Corey. That's the clown again. Slipknot. Back at you. Hope you enjoyed our taking over to rock. Duh. Hope you cranked the fuck out of it. You probably wanted us to break some stuff, didn't you? Well, you know, quit expecting it. Exactly. We break shit when we fucking feel like breaking it. Which reminds us, we'll be breaking a lot of fucking shit when we're back in fucking Germany coming soon. We'd like to apologize for having to pull out, but sometimes things happen, as all of you, I'm sure, are aware of. But uh, we promise from the bottom of our hearts that uh, our plan is world domination, and we definitely will be back in Germany to make up all those shows. And we can't wait, because some of our favorite shows have been in Germany previous. So um, don't worry about that. You, you have our word. We'll be back. Exactly.